guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be learning all about pumice. Now pumice is an igneous rock and it's formed from volcanic eruptions so it's a product of those really explosive eruptions where there's a lot of gas involved and sometimes that gas gets trapped in the magma and when that magma cools very very quickly it doesn't have time to arrange its atoms in the more crystalline structure so that's how we get pumice. So this is what it looks like so it's got a lot of kind of pores and these are called vesicles or vesicles I'll write it on the screen so you can see it's got a lot of kind of gaps in it which means even though it's a large rock it's extremely lightweight so it has a very low density compared to a more crystalline example of igneous rock where the atoms are more aligned so this would have cooled down slower forming this more crystallized structure and this had this is a lot heavier than pumice so for a similar sized rock you can really feel the weight difference. So we're going to do a little bit of an experiment today looking at why pumice is such a cool igneous rock because it's got a few properties that make it quite a fun thing to play with. So you might have seen there was recently an eruption in Japan where I'll uh, insert a photo now. The volcano erupted and the pumice was floating all over the sea's surface. Now that it because the pumice has so many uh, gas bubbles and air uh, like vesicles it floats on water because it has a lower density than the water so that's uh, one of the really cool products of pumice however I say cool it isn't so when there's a volcanic eruption and there's a lot of pumice produced obviously the whole surface of the ocean in that area can be covered which means the fish they struggle to come to the surface and so it can cause issues as well and block ports etc but it's quite an extraordinary sight to see and it just shows you you know the force of nature but we're going to do an experiment now where we're going to throw this in a tub of water that I have next to us and we're gonna see how it behaves so here we have a tub of water so I've got my the pumice in one hand and I've got the other igneous rock in the other so this one's more crystalline so it has a higher density and this one is a lot more porous so it has a lower density so we're gonna drop both of these in this tub of water here and we're gonna see what happens so three two one so you can see the one on the right here or I don't know which way the camera is you can see this one sunk straight to the bottom and this one is bobbing up and down so even if I push it down it comes straight back up so it has a lower density than the water so it will float on the surface not forever so eventually the water I think it will eventually sink but it takes a long long time and so you can see it just bobs around whereas this one no chance that sinks right to the bottom so that's just one of the very cool properties of pumice and I thought you guys might like to see so you can see that there is it is just floating around so you can see a close-up here it's very much a rock but it is clearly got a much lower density than the water so it is just floating whereas this one there is no way this will float at all so it's really really cool so you can imagine when there's a lot of volcanic uh, deposits of pumice on the surface you can understand why it just completely covers it because they just literally bob on the surface like this and I can flip it over like how cool is that? <laughs> And I will just mention a little bit about the mythology behind pumice because when I was doing some research I read an interesting fact that um, in some cultures they believe pumice has been placed there kind of by the gods to allow people to cross the oceans because it's literally a floating rock so people see them almost as stepping stones but unfortunately if you put weight on these they don't work as stepping stones but they you know they do float on water so I can understand where the theory came from and also do you like how dirty the rocks were? <laughs> I probably should have washed them first. So I also thought I'd mention some of the uses of pumice. So you might have heard of a pumice stone. So I'll start with the kind of health and beauty side of things. So the like formation of pumice, you can see it kind of has almost like a frothy texture and it's you know rough but not too rough so it works really well as an abrasive or an exfoliant for like the soles of your feet or dead skin or dry skin so uh, there's a lot of like beauty and like health applications I say health you just kind of the beauty aisle kind of product so you can literally buy a pumice stone which is just pumice then it's also used in the fashion industry so you may have heard of stone wash jeans now these are literally produced by washing jeans with pumice because it fades the color of the denim so there's stone wash literally means washed with stones which is pretty pretty cool 
And then there's also industry applications. So concrete, we can uh, incorporate pumice into it because it's a lightweight rock. So because of the air bubbles inside it, if you want a lightweight concrete block, you can use pumice as one of the ingredients to do so. So there's a lot of uses of pumice, um, both in like fashion, beauty and industry. So it's quite, quite a key rock in our lifestyle. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. It was just a quick little, little kind of factual video all about pumice because I found this wonderful specimen when I was on the volcano in Nisaros, which is an island here in Greece. I'll link my vlog from that trip down below if you'd like to climb a volcano with me and explore the craters. But I just thought pumice is such a cool rock and it has so many uses in today's life. I thought it would be cool to show you guys and uh, do a little experiment with me. But thank you so much for watching. I'll link all my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there as well. But look after yourselves and hopefully I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.